Hi everyone, so today I'm doing a video on the best top Joy-Con shell replacements. These are like the frosted grey version, so not much of an unboxing. I mean you can see everything in the box anyway, but let's go ahead and open it. So I got these off Amazon, uh, there'll be a link in the description. So these come with coloured buttons as well. So these are going to replace the uh, XYAB buttons on the right Joy-Con, and then these are the directional buttons. Uh, which will go on the left Joy-Con. So they come with these uh, spare tri-wing screws. I'm going to try and use the ones on the existing Joy-Con first. Um, if I lose one then maybe I'll try these. So here are the shells themselves. Okay. So they're like a clear, sort of semi-transparent plastic. They're not soft touch, so the original ones are like soft touch plastic. This feels a bit harder. Um, we'll see how they go when I take it apart and swap the shell out. So I'm going to go ahead and try to swap them out. Okay, so the first step uh, is to remove the tri-wing screws from the back of the Joy-Con. I'm going to start with the left Joy-Con. So I have my handy tri-wing screwdriver here. Uh, just got to be careful about this. Uh, the screws are actually painted black. So if you apply too much force, um, they actually scratch off the black paint. So just be slow and careful. Uh, so removing the screws. That's the first one. And then you do the same for the rest. Okay, so I have the screws removed now. So the, after you have the screws removed, I find the easiest way to actually get this open is to start from the bottom here. Uh, there might already be a gap once you un unscrew them. So just stick a fingernail or something and start pushing it open. Uh, and then after that, the whole the rail starts show, um, coming off. So I would just pull that rail and the whole thing opens. And just be careful of these ribbon cables, don't pull too hard. And then that's the first part, the case is open. You can just pry the battery off, it's just held down by some tape. Okay, so it looks like you only have to remove these three screws to get to the inner piece. So if you look at it closely, they're actually different colored. Uh, they're slightly green or yellow. So this one here, this one, and that one. So start by removing those three. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and remove the bottom one here. Okay, so I've removed those three screws. Uh, they're on the table there. Once that's removed, uh, basically this whole mid-frame just kind of flips up. Uh, just be careful that there is another ribbon cable. That cable is probably for the trigger. And probably just don't use too much force. Uh, there is a spring here I see that potentially could pop out, so just be careful. And after we have that mid-frame opened, uh, there are some ribbon cables we would like to disconnect. Basically all the white ones. So probably this one, this one, this one. This one and that one. Oh, that's not a ribbon cable. Uh, probably that one. So yeah, basically go ahead and disconnect those ribbon cables. Okay, to remove the ribbon cables, there are little locks uh, on the attachment points. So they're, they're either colored gray or black. So to, what, you do, what you do is you get like a flathead screwdriver or some pliers. And then basically you have to lift up the little tab like so, and then that releases that ribbon cable. And we'll do the same here. There we go. So it just pops up, and once it's popped up, you can just basically use your fingers and slowly wiggle it out, and then that ribbon cable is free. And then we have this part free. Okay, so I have successfully disconnected the ribbon cables. Uh, basically, the ribbon cables you need to remove uh, this one, this one, this one, and this one here. So that one there is for the charging or the, the, the I believe it might, might be for the SR or charging, I'm not sure. But basically it went there and that one went there. Uh, I'm leaving that one in for now, but I believe I have to remove that as well for the, the joystick component. So the next thing I'm going to take off is the trigger, the L button. So just be careful here. There is a spring and the spring is 
just just there so when you remove it just be careful it might pop off and, and get lost somewhere so there we go and the spring is attached to the button so yeah just make sure you don't lose that okay now I'm going to remove the joystick module so I think it's held in by two Phillips screws uh, this one oh sorry the one underneath that ribbon cable here this one and this one they're also slightly different colored so they look kind of uh, yellow or greenish. Uh, you can see it compared to this one. That's more like more silver and this one is definitely like yellow or, or green. So I'm going to start by removing this one that's under the ribbon cable. So again, it's not very tight, uh, just a little bit of force. And off it comes. I'm going to put it with the other ones. And I'll also take off this one. Oop, the whole thing is loose now. And so if you just push it, the whole module comes out. There is a bit of plastic. Uh, looks like it may be stuck onto the case. It's a bit of a... Sort of like a sticker, I think. Okay, yeah, so there's a bit of plastic, it's like a plastic ring, that one. So maybe I'll remove that later. I'll just take off this ribbon cable. So I've already um, taken off that little tab. Uh, let's just pull the cable gently and off it comes. So that's the joystick. So next, we're going to take off the main board. Uh, before I do that, I might disconnect the white block. The white block might actually be the the rumble component. So let's let's see how I can take that off. I'm just gonna try and pull it and see what happens. Nope. Let's let's not do that. Looks like it's pretty tight on the board. Maybe we'll take off the board first, and then we can probably pull that out. So the board is probably held on by these two screws. Probably. Uh, we'll find out. Okay, off comes the first one. So these screws are actually a bit shorter than the uh, the greenish yellow ones. That is probably why they're different colored. Okay, another one. Yep. Okay, so the board should now be free. And it is. Oh, and underneath the board is the, uh, the plastic uh, for the buttons. Whoop, looks like the... The screenshot button fell out of that hole there. It's fine. Okay, so let's see if I can uh, pull this off. And there we go. It takes a little bit of force, but you can just just pull it straight out. Just be careful when you pull it. Okay, so let's see about this this white block here. It might just be held be held down by double-sided tape. Let's see if I can uh, pry it off. Let's try this plastic strip. Yeah, I can feel it. It's it's some double-sided tape. Okay, the tape is actually on the uh, the bottom of this, so it's nice. So it's it's come off the thing. Okay, so I want to put this upside down so the tape doesn't stick on anything. And let's go ahead and take off these buttons while we're here. Okay, right, so they have a, like a plastic gasket thingy, and then the buttons are just free afterwards. So I'll put that there. Directional buttons. I hope Okay, so it looks like they're all the same. So it doesn't really matter if you get them mixed up. The uh, the notches appear to be all the same. Appear to be. So maybe I'll find out my mistake later. Put them aside. So that's most of the stuff off. 
Uh, looks like the rest of this, this is probably the button for the, the L trigger, and then that's the, the minus button. So these have some screws, I'm just going to go ahead and unscrew those. Okay, so I've unscrewed them. Uh, I'm going to take off the minus button first. So that piece, oh, they're, they're together, oh, okay. Looks like they're actually one piece, they're connected by a uh, ribbon cable, which is fine. So that piece is there, and then of course we have that plastic gasket thingy, and then out pops that minus button. Okay. I hope that didn't matter which way it went in though. Let's, let's see. Well, there we go, that's the minus button. Anyway, so put that aside. That's basically the entire top piece taken apart. So I might just take off this, this black ring as well. Looks like it's actually separate. Looks like it's actually stuck down with some tape or something. We might have some adhesive on the back of it. Okay, yeah, there's a bit of adhesive on the, these, these little tabs. Okay, I'm just gonna put this aside so that I can put this in. Okay. Okay, so before I forget where everything goes, uh, I'm gonna try and pop as much stuff back in here as I can. Uh, maybe I'll start with this black thing. Uh, so I'm just gonna compare it with this. Okay, so there are little plus notches there, which should line up with the circular holes. Okay, I'll put this down. Okay, so just trying to line that up as best as I can. Let's see, I think that's pretty close. The thing is, if you have this black circle on, you will actually see it through the hole later. So, not sure what this is for, but if you do put it on, you will see this through the case later. So I guess it's, make sure it's it's centered, I guess, otherwise it'll, it'll look a little bit out of place. But I think that's the best I can do at the moment. So I'm just gonna press down on the adhesive bit, make sure it sticks. And there we go. It's in, it's not perfect, but it's good enough. Um, I'm wondering if, if the hole's the same size, because it looks like a bit, this hole's a little bit smaller than that black bit. Oh well. I'm just gonna press on a little bit. I'm gonna use the tool just to press down on the adhesive bit there so that you can see. Okay, so that's down. I'm gonna try and pop in these buttons. Uh, so there are notches here as well, so two on this side and one on this side. So if we just match them up and make sure that the, uh, the direction is the correct direction. Uh, actually, I'm using the wrong buttons. I actually want to use the colored ones. So let's get this open. Okay. Okay, so I just had to quickly look up um, which color was which direction. So I looked up the page, it looks like the green one is on the left. So just make sure that the arrow is pointing the right way. So you want it to be left. Uh, and then red is right, yellow is up and blue is down. So yellow is up, blue is Oh god, this is hard. Green is right. Okay. Green is right. Blue is down. Down. 
Okay, so you want the notch to the left. Blue is down, red is right. Okay, and then I want to put this back on. Like so. So it doesn't really click in or anything, it just kind of sits there. So I'm going to hold it down just to make sure it's the right way. Oh wow, that looks pretty good. Yeah, so the arrows are the correct way. So we have yellow is up, red is right, green is left, blue is down. Okay, next uh, I'm going to put in the screenshot button. Whoops, it just fell straight through. Let's try that again. So there's no real direction to this. Uh, I know there's a little notch at the bottom, but I don't see any difference in the hole. So I'm just going to pop it in and then this just goes over. So make sure that the the bit with the circle is on the inside because that's how the, the button press works. That's how it gives its feedback. So pop it in and then also I'm going to put the minus button in as well. So the minus button has some notches. I don't think it really matters as long as it fits in. It's a little bit fiddly. Okay, so there it is, the minus button. And again, make sure that circle bit is on the inside. Okay, so that should be it. The buttons are in. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to put everything else back in. So the next thing was probably the minus button controls. So I believe they were over here like so. So I'm going to try and screw in the first bit. So let's pick one screw up. It was the smallest screw. So this is going to be a bit hard. Okay. Oh, that did not work. It does feel a little bit tight. So I believe these holes might not be threaded. So it can feel a little bit tight when you put it in. So just make sure that it's not so tight that the minus button is not clicky anymore. So I would just give that a test. So it does feel okay at the moment. It feels a little bit loose actually because the only screw holding it down is this one. So when you press it, the board flexes a little bit. But I believe once I have everything in, it should feel a bit more solid. So that looks okay. I'm going to go ahead and screw these other two in. Again, I don't think they're threaded, so it feels kind of tight as you forcefully screw them in, basically. Oh crap, my buttons fell out. Okay, it's alright, we'll fix that in a second. I'm just going to finish screwing this in. Okay. Yep. Seems okay. All right, I'm just gonna fix my buttons. Okay, so to remove this button from that mid frame, um, I had to use a quite a bit of force. So basically, if you look closely here, there is like these little round notches which stick out on either side. Basically, they are inside this little these, these tabs, these two tabs. Uh, it's hard to see probably. Let's try and get a better angle for you. So you can see there, there is like a sort of like a circular notch. Basically those round pegs are inside there. So what you can do is 
uh, when it's inside, it'll be like this. So what I did was I wedged a bit of plastic between the button and the casing. And then once you've wedged it in there, you should be able to push this button out this way. So because there is an opening at the back, it should be able to slide out, outwards. It does need some force, but you do need to um, pry it up a little bit and then push out this way. But when you do, just be careful because they are, there are two springs which basically sit here in the hole and another one also in the hole. So yeah, they're, they're, they're two springs that are sitting in these holes. Uh, basically they line up with this peg here and this little peg on that side. So yeah, just be careful not to lose them when you do push it out. Okay, so this button is now out. The springs, I'm just going to put them here. And then there is one more screw to release the ZL button. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. So screwdriver. Yes. So again, it's a small, a small screwdriver. And then out comes the piece. So while, while we still remember what's going on, I am going to take this mid plate and put it back in. Okay, so there is a little notch there. So it should fit like that. And then I'm gonna try and put the screw back in. Okay, again, just finger tight. And let's put these springs back in as well. Okay, this is going to be rather difficult. But we'll see what I can do. Whoop. Okay. I'm gonna try and press the springs down first and then try and like scoop it in. Okay. So you have to line up the screws with these with these notches on the bottom. So I'm gonna try my best to do this on camera. Oh. And looks like that's it. it looks like that's in, but it feels a bit not as tight as uh, as on the original. Feels like there's a bit more travel, but that might be because uh, the rest of the case is not on it. So once it's on it, it should press it down a bit more, and then it should have less. Let's see. Look at that. So you're pressing it, but it's not clicking. You press it all the way. So no click, and then click. So we'll see how that is um, once everything is back together. Okay, so holy crap, this is hard. Uh, the next step is to reassemble everything. Uh, I'm gonna start by putting these ribbon cables back in. So this is actually quite difficult. Uh, you have to line them up and then using these little tabs on either side, I'm um, using a screwdriver. I wish I had pliers, but I don't. Uh, I'm just giving that a little push to make sure that they're, it's in quite tight. And then I'm gonna close this flap. And that should lock it in. 
So same thing for the blue ribbon cable here. Just have to lift it up and make it go into its hole or its slot down there. Now I'm pretty sure that is not the correct hole. It's not in yet. Okay, the L button has come off. That is fine. Okay, so let's try that again. So the problem with this one is it hasn't got little tabs to push with. So just making sure that that is in. Okay, I'm just gonna try and do this off camera. Okay, so I managed to get it in. So the, a good way to test whether it's in is once you think it's in, try and lift this up if it feels pretty solid and it doesn't pop out, then it probably means it's in. So I'm just gonna close this latch. Use my hands. Okay, so that one's closed. And this one is closed. Uh, so the next two, they were there and there. So I'm gonna try and put that in. Um, the issue is I believe this one is actually inserted this way so the gold contacts is upwards and this one is inserted this way so that is going to be a problem perhaps i should have inserted this one first before attaching this so let's see how i go okay it looks like i was wrong it actually just goes straight in there and then the black flap just folds over and clips it in so no need to flip it in this way it just goes straight in this way so that's good and I'm gonna do the similar thing with this bottom one. So yeah, you just push it in. Uh, maybe use a tool or something to give it a good push so that it's all the way in. Should be pretty in, okay. Locking that down, feels like it's pretty tight at the moment. Okay, and the last ribbon cable is this one. So how did this work? Okay, so it looks like this one goes in this way. If you can see, it goes in there. And then this whole thing folds over. So I am going to try and attempt that. Okay, so that one is in as well. And this goes in like so. And then all that's left is the battery, uh, which connects to that. So before I do that, maybe I should connect the battery. So the battery was this way. Now I believe see it went in like this uh, and the connector was in like that so or maybe it was like that nope can't be like that must be like this okay so flip this open and then let's try and connect this okay it's going to be hard to show on camera because it's also very hard for me to do it single-handed. Okay, might need to change the angle a little bit. Okay, there we go. It is in. So basically if you put it on top and you just press down, it'll it'll click. Okay. So many fiddly bits. Okay. Make sure that that ribbon cable is below the casing. Uh, pop the battery back in. I don't have the uh, adhesive, but that's I think that's fine. 
and then the rest of it should just go on top I hope I can see that ribbon cable is on top of the battery uh, judging by the creases on it I think that's the, actually the correct place for it okay okay it's back in okay it lights up so that's a good sign my button is not in so let's take this back out slowly okay fold this way fold that way it's very fiddly okay try and put this button back in okay everything is falling apart now that one sandwiching it in okay looking pretty good I see the lights through here as well which is pretty sick that feels clicky that feels pretty good there's a little bit of play I'm just gonna compare it with this one there's a bit of play with this one as well probably a bit more on the modified one I'd say just a tad bit more very oh they're very similar and then you and then it clicks so yeah it might just be the quality of the casing but it seems to be okay at the moment button works joystick feels the same yep everything feels pretty good I'm gonna screw in the uh, the tri-wing before I screw in the tri-wing I should probably finish screwing in these hey alright let's open this back up Whoop. okay okay so these were underneath the battery so one there one there and one there so I'm going to start with this one again just just finger tight is good Let's do the center one. And then the last one. Pop the battery back in, put the lid over it, test it one more time. Buttons are good. I think there might be less play now. Let me take a look. Yeah, I think it's about the same. I never noticed this until I opened it. Yeah, seems the same now. Awesome. Okay, this is still clicky. Minus button, still good, awesome. So I am gonna put, I'm gonna really put the tri-wing screws back in now. Okay, so I screwed in most of them off camera. Uh, the last one is here. Again, these holes are not threaded. So when you screw them in, uh, expect a, quite a bit of resistance. It'll feel quite tight, but once you reach the bottom, or, or when the, the top of the, the head of the screw hits the case um, you'll feel it's much harder and then you can stop uh, screwing so I'm using the original ones I'm not using the, the ones they provided uh, I've heard horror stories about using the one they provided um, some YouTubers say that uh, the screws they provide are not hard enough and then 
it breaks off in all sorts of stuff. So I'm going to just avoid that and just use the original ones. So they are back in. We're just going to make sure that they're, again, just finger tight. You don't want to screw too hard because they are not threaded. So I just turned on the my switch as well just to give it a test and it yeah it it synced to it. The buttons all worked, the joystick worked, the um, shoulder buttons, everything seems as clicky as they were. The screenshot button worked. So yes. Oh my god, after I don't know how many hours we have one left Joy-Con done. So let's get to the right one okay so i have removed the tri-wing screws for the right joy-con once they're up you can use your fingernail to pry it open a little bit uh, again just be careful of those ribbon cables so the ribbon cables are very likely to be on the same side let me just take a look okay so this one is a bit different it has the ir sensor so let's see how we can do this. Okay. Okay, so I have the back off. So to remove the battery, um, basically we're gonna use this plastic bit again. Uh, it's probably held down by some adhesive like before. Just stick it in there and twist and it pops straight off again we're gonna remove the battery first so to remove the battery uh, basically you just lift pull the cable up away from the board and it should just pop off and there we go battery is out okay so now looks like there's an extra piece here oh okay so it, it's it slides in like that and then we just lift it up and there's some cables okay so it looks like we might have to remove this thing might just leave that in there for now so let's remove this mid frame it looks like it might be that screw that screw and that screw so i'm going to do that Okay, so those two got removed. Uh, I'm gonna remove this final one. Okay. And let's see how loose. Okay, so yep, that's getting pretty loose now. So this, this gray cable is threaded through this mid plate. So you just gotta pull that up so that's not in the way. And then this should just fold straight out similar to how the other one folded okay so we can go ahead and remove some ribbon cables now I'm actually going to leave this attached so that I don't have too many loose pieces so it looks like we have a ribbon cable there 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 and there's one here as well and looks like there's one here which goes underneath the board. Not sure what it's for at the moment, but let's start unclipping some of this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to switch to a smaller screwdriver. So again, we're going to flip up those tabs. So it looks like this tab is on the back, I believe. Yep. And this, this one here. Oh, this one actually came off. Uh, okay. Okay, so this should be free, this should be free. Okay, so we freed the, the rail bit. So now we the mid bit is off as well. So now we can probably take off the joystick. So I'm just gonna pop this out. Might be better to use my hand. Okay, so you can see it's pulling it out, there it is. And I'm just going to unscrew the, the joystick as well. Okay. Again, these are the, the green screws. Okay. OK. 
Okay, off comes the joy stick. Again, there is that black ring. Joystick is out. Uh, looks like there is two white screws holding down this board. Uh, I'm going to leave this detached. Uh, this cable, I'm not sure where it goes. It might be for the home button. That's going to be difficult to put in, I reckon. Um, let's take that off first in case I, I pull anything. So let's take this off. Okay, so that's unclipped now. I'll leave it attached. I'll also unclip this thing. I'm not sure what that one is. So I unclipped it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove these screws. This this thing's wobbly already, so the shoulder R uh, shoulder button. So maybe I should remove that first. Okay, so moving that one, taking off these two screws. So once this comes off, the buttons are going to be free. So just going to be careful of that. Okay, let's see. Yep, board is coming off. Yes, this. This cable is for the home button, so I'm just going to pull it out. Or not. And I'm not sure what that black one is for. Ah, that black, that black cable is for the IR sensor. So, since we've taken off the clips, they should just come out. Okay, so out comes the board, I am going to try and wiggle this the rumble pack off let's see what's the best way of getting in there probably from this edge probably from here might use the plastic tool it's a bit of plastic I got maybe not, this is Probably too thick. I will try with the screwdriver. Yep, that worked. Okay, so off comes this. Off comes this piece. So there's the buttons there, so I don't flip it around just yet. Okay, so this is a bit sticky on that side, so I want to leave it upside down for now. Okay, so buttons. Oh, shit. Okay, so I just dropped my plus button. It's over there. I will get it in a second. Um, might have to remove this IR sensor somehow. Looks like it just comes straight up. Okay, the cable is stuck down with some adhesive. Let's see if I can pull it up. Yeah, it's just some adhesive. And out it comes. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to start putting this into the other one. Otherwise I'm going to forget where everything goes. So this goes down there. Actually, before I do that, there's actually more underneath here. So there's all this stuff. I'm not sure what that stuff is, but I'm taking the home button out. I'm gonna take all these buttons out. Okay, put them over here. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. That might be for the NFC, I think. So this is actually for the NFC, not for the not for the home button. So, this is going to be tough. I'm going to start by removing this plastic. Actually, I can't even. It's underneath that. Okay. Um, let me take a look. You can see the, the copper there, so that's probably the antenna. You want to be a bit careful when removing this. So, it looks like it's got some sort of... Oh, so it's just one piece. There's a bit of foam, not sure where that... Oh, that foam was already there, okay. So that foam is actually stuck on with some adhesive. Okay, so it looks like this is also stuck on with some adhesive. Somehow... Oh, shit! Okay, it just popped off. So, looks like there's some adhesive in the middle. If I can get it to focus. And I cannot. Yeah, there's some adhesive right there. Right there. Okay, so that's out. Um, before I do anything else, I'm going to take off this plastic bit. Again, adhesive. 
adhesive. Okay, transferring it straight over before I forget what I'm doing. I've already forgotten what I'm doing. Okay, so there's a button, there's a little hole here, hole here. And that is not correct. Okay, that's pretty close. That looks pretty good. Just gonna Okay, press down on the adhesive bits. Looks pretty good. So that one's down. Next was this NFC antenna, which was somewhere over here. That, okay, so there's some notch here and a notch here. So just make sure it's there and then just press it down and then it should still have enough adhesive to stay down. So you make sure that, that it matches with that groove and that groove there and then you should be good. And now I'm gonna put in the IR blaster or whatever it's called and sticking this back down. Okay, that is back down. I have no idea how I'm going to connect this ribbon cable back up, but uh, we'll figure that out when we get there. Okay, so next, uh, I'm going to retrieve my plus button. Okay, plus button retrieved. I'm uh, going to pop this in. There's some notches in the two corners, so just make sure you line up the notches, and then it should just... That's not the right way. notch in the top and the bottom there we go now it's in now we put this the plastic cover back on it plastic cover is on okay and then next was the home button okay so home button home button is in mostly in there we go, home button is in, looking good. Next was the board, I think. Was it the board? Maybe. Okay, next is the board. Gonna put in the rumble unit. Lining up the board, making sure that those ribbon cables are on top of the board because we need to attach those in a minute actually maybe we should attach those now actually never mind yeah we'll just put the board in first okay board is in okay I am gonna try and attach those ribbon cables before I go any further so in case I can't get them in at least I can still take this out so I'll see how that goes okay so before I can actually put the board back on I forgot the buttons so I want to put the buttons in uh, blue is on top, so again, lining up the notches, we can have the X button, which is the blue one, uh, on top, just making the notches line up. That's the blue one, and then the red one, uh, this is the yellow one, it's on the bottom. There, there we go. Red one is on the right, so on the left because we're upside down right now. Red one. Nope, gotta keep turning it, keep turning it. Very fiddly. Okay, and then the green one is the only remaining one, which is, yep, uh, this way. Okay. So everything's going to be popping out as you do this, so be careful. Taking the rubber bit again and placing it over. Okay, now we can put the board on top. Again, making sure those ribbon cables are not in the way. Now this is the really hard bit actually. I'm not sure how I can get that ribbon cable back in, but uh, I'll give it a go.
Yeah, so definitely don't screw the, uh, the board back in yet because you need to leverage that a little bit. You can raise it a bit, try and angle it in. Uh, but I'll see if I can get this in. Oh. All right, I might have to do this off camera. Okay, so I've decided that it is not possible to put this in while everything is stuck in. So it's better to take everything out, connect the cables, and then put it back in. So I'm gonna try and attempt that now. Okay, so I've taken the board out. I am gonna put this cable in. Yep, so much easier. Lock that in. And then similarly, I wanna take this NFC antenna out. Just be careful, don't drop the buttons. So the only adhesive was somewhere in the middle, okay. Okay, NFC antenna is out. Popping it in the hole. Oh, so much easier. And done. So now we have all these dangly bits. So, antenna down first. Antenna is almost down. Antenna is down. And the rumble bit, okay. Put the IR sensor back in first, and then the rumble, and then everything else. Just make sure the buttons are still where they should be. And we should be almost good to go. All right, that was so much easier. So board is back in, NFC is back in. Buttons look okay, maybe, is that correct? And then home button, plus button. Everything is still clicking, yes. Okay, that's good, home button, still clicking, perfect. Okay, so next is going to be the joystick. So I'm gonna put that back in. Okay, I'm gonna screw that back in now. Okay, so we're gonna re-screw the board first and then we're gonna screw the, the the joystick back on. Okay, so the board is held down by the light colored screws. So it should be this one and this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those on. It should be this one. Again, they're not threaded, so it does need some force. Okay, looks good. And the other one. Which is next to the ribbon cable here. Okay, just check the buttons. Still clicky. Okay, and now we're going to screw the joystick back on. So joystick uses these green colored screws, the longer ones. Oops. Okay. Okay, so joystick is back on. Uh, I'm also going to put the other three. Never mind, didn't know what I was talking about. The other three remaining screws are actually for holding this plate on top. So obviously we can't do that just yet. We have to remove this and put it onto our mid plate. And also we have to remove this and put it onto the see-through back plate. So like before, I'm going to start with this one because it seems to be easier. So let's do that. So hopefully it's the same, hopefully it's just one screw. So we'll start with this screw. Okay, out comes the screw. And yes, looks like it just pops off. And also there is this release button. So here we go, the release button straight in there before I forget what I'm doing. Again, there's a notch, so it only goes in one way, that way. And this goes on top. 
and then we'll put that screw back in carefully. And that's in. And that's basically the bottom plate done. Okay, awesome. Getting there, we're getting there. Okay, bottom plate is done uh, again. So let's take this uh, ZR button off. So let's let's see if what I said before was true. So popping this up a little bit and then pushing forward. Nope, what I said before was not true. Okay, so it's still pretty hard to get off. Uh, Actually, I think pressing down and pulling backwards might be even better. Okay, so let's see how that goes. Okay, off it comes. There we go. So same mechanism as before. Okay, so again, whoops, dropped the springs. So there we go, the springs are there. Again, we're gonna unscrew this and pop it into the other one. So here we go. Off comes the screw, off comes the part. Put this part straight into the other one. There are two holes. There. Like that. Okay. That is in. Now we're going to try and put these springs. So there's two holes here for the springs. Okay, finally got the springs in. Again, here we go, trying to line them up. Okay, pressing them down. Trying hard not to... Okay, so you have to go forward a little bit to try and get it over the area and it should be in right so it looks like the way they made this case is not as good as the original so there's a bit of there's a bit more play and it feels like it could pop out a lot easier so in the original case it was in there very tight uh, in this case not not the case no not the case all right so that one is in so we should be good to go i think we got everything off here so that's done um, next is to reconnect all the ribbon cables and put it back together so let's start with this one now i have forgotten where this goes i think it goes in here you know what probably goes in there okay so let's start by putting this in wow this is hard this cable is really short. All right, let me see what I can do. Okay, so after fiddling with that for a while, uh, I've decided that actually putting this cable in first and then attaching to this frame is probably a better idea because this cable is so short. Is you, once you have this screwed in, you basically have nothing to play with. So I've taken it off and now I'm gonna attempt to put this back in. So yes, like so. This is a lot easier to do than, than before. Oops. This way. Yep. There we go. Much easier than trying to uh, put the cable in while the rest is attached. So I'm gonna try and put the button back in okay so button is back in 
that is stuck on now. I've also put in the ribbon cable for the joystick. Uh, I'm going to put in the L button. This is really, really difficult. I mean, it looks cool, but damn, not sure if it's worth it. Okay, so now all that's left is to put this piece back in there and also to connect these cables. Probably connect these cables first. Okay, so I'm going to start by lifting up this, connecting this in there. If I can. That in that one is in, okay. Now for this one down here. Very, very difficult, especially with no tools. Okay, that one appears to be in. I'm just gonna give it a push on those outer tabs to make sure it's all the way in. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so that one's in, that one's in. Now we can probably screw the board in. Let me just quickly check. So yes, we can probably screw this board in now. Uh, before I do that, we've got to route this cable through this, this little gap here. So this thing basically went through here, there, like so, and there was a little bracket, I believe, that it slipped into. There. Little bracket there. And the battery is next, but before I put the battery in, I'm going to screw in uh, this board so it doesn't move around. So, yes, this one. So the screws were there, there, and there. So I want to start with this one. Yep. Okay, and then this thing popped out. Battery probably goes this way, I think. And then the cable is, again, this is going to be a bit difficult this way, in here, if I had pliers, that would be great. Okay, everything is back in place, the battery is in, it's been plugged in, and now we should be able to just close it, should. Okay, yep, it's mostly, oh there we go, it's all closed, buttons are still clicky, definitely more travel there than before, home button works, joystick feels good, alright, I'm going to go ahead and seal this. Okay, and we are done. So. I don't know how many hours I spent. I think I spent almost two or three hours on this. And they are finally done. That was the hardest thing I have ever done in my entire life. The plus button was okay. And everything else is all right. So I'm gonna plug them into the switch and see what happens. And there we go. Everything seems to be working. awesome okay well thank you guys for watching um, this is probably my longest video ever but there, there you have it the see-through joy-cons and then some regular joy-cons hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, thanks for watching